As a young boy growing up in Perth, John Hunt, born 1957, always dreamt of being a famous tennis player. Indeed, he would become WA's top-ranked under-19 junior at just 16. But it wasn't to be. At age 18, a severe back injury put Hunt in a spinal brace for two years, and it was during this hiatus that he launched his career in media. He did not come from a background in racing, but since childhood had loved listening to the great callers of the day, and fantasised about being one of them, without ever really taking the thought seriously, because in tennis lay his assumed future. It was 1976, and Hunt was not yet 19 when he sought out and met leading 6IX race commentator Trevor Jenkins in the bookies ring at Ascot, brazenly asking a man he'd secretly looked up to for years, how do you become a race caller? Hunt impressed Jenkins enough with his temerity that let him try out in a spare broadcast box. Then the youngster convinced WATA racing secretary Ray Holloway to allow him the same access at Gloucester Park and similarly Greyhound chief Lou Dorser at Cannington Central. Within six months, Trevor Jenkins had arranged for Hunt to work part-time as assistant caller at the Greyhounds and to back up Jenkins at country race meetings. Then Hunt successfully pestered iconic ABC caller Max Simmons into fixing for him to take his place at Northwest non-TAB meetings when Max was unavailable. Soon after this, Channel 9 sporting head Bruce Walker offered Hunt the thrill of calling Metropolitan Races and Trots for the station's new weekend replay program and for the news at 6. In April 1977, Trevor Jenkins advised Hunt that 6PR was to become the first true racing station and had recommended to the new owners that the gifted teenager accompany him there. Hunt would start as the main greyhound caller and as such would be the youngest Metropolitan commentator in Australia. That year, the great Pure Steel won his first WA Pacing Cup, and owner Russell Roberts saw Hunt's loudly screamed call on Channel 9. Roberts invited him to lunch and then to the stables, and there Hunt met and over time befriended Pure Steel. Hunt made it his business to develop not just the necessary skills to commentate with accuracy and knowledge, but to leave nothing behind in research and to hone a much rarer quality, that of finding the core to a story and to be able to wax lyrical over anything from a humble maiden to a Group 1 champion. And he had the voice to do it. Racing by the Palms was a signature comment that instantly identified the caller to any regular trot fan. In 1978, Hunt began writing and producing the 52-episode radio series, The History of Racing. That same year, Hunt learned to do TAB studio shifts and then was granted his own show called Friday All Sports. It would be the highest rating program on 6PR and number one in its time slot. In 1981, Hunt became chief trot caller at 6PR and in 1982 won his first national Joseph Coulter Harness Racing Australia Award for the radio series Greatest Inter-Dominion Winners. Then he wrote the San Simeon story and won his second. In 1982, Hunt was invited by the Meadowlands Racetrack Management in New Jersey to call the one-off World Cup of Trotting back to Australia. In 1984, he briefly left the media, returning to join the Infant Sky Channel in 1986 as its Perth race caller and chief on-air host of the station's coverage of Perth, Brisbane and Sydney racing. In 1989, Hunt was given reign to completely reimagine and redevelop the Friday night broadcast presentation on the ABC. The show won national awards on more than one occasion. In 1990, he made Life at Full Pace, a nostalgic history of the WA Pacing Cup, which aired on Channel 9 in the lunch break of a test cricket match. Then came A Tribute to Willie, which dealt with Village Kid's incredible career. The film was named International Racing Video of the Year. Carnival Dreams soon followed, and The Summer of Frost and Ice. The 1992-93 season saw Hunt produce the first of seven annual Year That Was videos, entitled Seasons of Glory. Multiple awards adorned this series. Hunt also won a national Best Race Call Award for his colourful description of Village Kid's farewell time trial. For the last decade of his career, John Hunt commentated Gloucester Park and Pinjarra Trots on Sky Channel. He also returned to hosting his own sports show, Sports Saturday. John retired officially in December 2008, but since then has remained connected to harness racing with a variety of much welcomed and frequent short film productions. For his manifold services to harness racing, John Hunt was presented with the National Meritorious Service Award in 2006 and the James Brennan Award in 2008.